Hello and welcome. Today I will be showing you how you can conduct your very own internet speed test. When you connect to a web page or website, there will be a time it takes for you to connect to that web page. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to do something called ping, which is basically testing the speed it takes to connect to that internet web page. This is an important thing to consider because there are differing speeds depending on the websites and what you use. And this is also very important when you're doing something like web scraping or crawling through web pages. Doing a, using one or two websites or accessing one or two different web pages it won't make much of a difference because it is in milliseconds, but if you're doing a web scraping code, which you know, you're know you accessing hundreds or maybe even thousands or tens of thousands of web pages, you really will start to feel the difference. And so what we're gonna be doing here is we're going to be pinging a few well-known search engines. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to import a module called Pi Speed Test. And this module will enable us to ping certain websites and then receive a time for how long it took to connect or get a response from that website or web page. So after you've done a pip install the Pi Speed Test module and then restarted your Python shell, we're now ready to write the code. So the first thing we can do is import the Pi, P, Pi speed test module, a bit of a mouthful, and I've given it the alias as PST. So wherever we reference PST in the code, we're refer referring to the Pi speed test module. There's also an optional one of importing the time module as T in case you wanted to sort of do a ping every second or every couple of seconds. But in this case, we're only gonna be using a few search engines and so I've imported it but I am not really using it. Okay, after you've done those imports we can now begin with a ping of our first search engine or first web page or website. In this case it's Google, we're going to go straight to Google and so what we can do is we type in PST calling our Pi Speed Test module we can type in pst.speedtest, capital S and capital T for speed test, and in brackets and quotation marks, we type in the name of the web page, including the www. and the .com bit at the end, or .co.uk or wherever you're using. And then that's and then what I've done is I've equated that to the variable speed underscore test one. So speed underscore test one is our web page and then what we can do below that is we type in speed underscore test one calling our web page and type in dot ping and then have empty brackets we can now give that the variable ping one and those two lines of code are all it takes for us to create our internet speed test for google in this case and then what I've done below is I've done exactly the same thing as these two lines, but I've done it for Bing, DuckDuckGo, and then some other ones, Yandex, CC Search, Ecosia, and Swiss Cows. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna ping these, and then we're gonna see how long it takes for us to get a response. And so how now do we go about doing the ping? So what I've done here is I've created a simple loop that runs once for i in range 1, 2 is exactly the same as just having it run once, a loop that creates that runs once. Then put in colon and then below that we're going to type in print and then what I've done is I've created sort of in quotation marks some text, ping, hyphen, google, colon, space. Then in here we're going to type in ping 
one, which is our ping speed for our websites, comma one, because what I've done here is I've rounded the value here. So let's take this bit slower. So what I've got is ping one here, which is our actual ping of the website. And within that, I've got the round function, which I've highlighted there, which will round the value which we get, which is in milliseconds, to the nearest millisecond. And how we do that is to type in round, which is an inbuilt function. And then in brackets, type in our ping one, which is the value you want to round, comma one, which is the sort of the unit you want to round to. So one in this case is the nearest millisecond. And that's our round function created. And then in another set of brackets, I've converted that value to a string. So that number now is converted to a string, that rounded number, so that I can concatenate it and put it with this text here. So you've got ping hyphen Google in a string. We've stringed our ping value, which has been rounded. And then we've got another string here, which just displays the units, shows us the units at the end. So what we can do, we can do that for each one of our values. And it, notice below here, I've got a T sleep five. So if you want to do the value one to three, we could do that. However, the ping will not change. Not unless you sort of, you know, something drastic happens between the rounds, which is why I mentioned at the beginning, you know, the timer module, time module may not be, may or may not be needed. You could probably use it to, to basically delay the ping to each one of these if you wanted to. But, um, so I've included it in case that's something you wanted to do. However, we could also just leave that out because this loop only runs once. So after you've done the print of that, uh, each one of those websites in the loop, we can now run it and see our results. So let's run this. Let's see what we get. It's still loading. Here we go. So here we go. Zoom in a bit. Here we go. So we can see here that we've pinged each of these websites. They pinged Google, Bing, DuckDuckGo, Yandex, CC Search, Ecosia, and Swiss Cows. And there is a difference. So Google is 10.1 milliseconds. Bing is 242.9 milliseconds. So there's a massive difference already. DuckDuckGo is the second quickest and then so on and so forth. But Bing, interestingly, is the slowest for where I am, and Google is the quickest for where I am. There are other factors which affect it. Um, so, you know, your internet service provider, where you are, your speed of your internet connection. And so those are probably the main ones I can think of right at the top of my head. So just be aware that that there are other factors that are that are at play here. So I really hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Please do subscribe to my channel and please do share it with someone else if you think they may benefit from it as well. Thank you very much for watching.